Look at any financial market impact of the war we've been covering. And today, the stock market, which just closed about 17 minutes ago in New York, was up. The Dow by more than 130 points. S&P and NASDAQ also higher on the day. As we welcome in uh, Doug Flynn from Flynn Zito uh, Capital Management to talk a little bit about uh, the markets and give us perspective on the business world. The real thing to look at and supposedly worry about, Doug, was uh, going to be the oil price, right? Um, oil was up, I think, 4% yesterday, but didn't do much of, of anything today, down 59 cents when I checked. So um, we're not, we're certainly not seeing any panic. We're not seeing much at all in the financial markets, even though this is the biggest story in the world right now. Explain, if you can. Sure. Yeah, I think that part of this has to do with the fact that if it stays contained to what it is, it's not a major producer. So supply disruptions might be limited. So, you know, there's an initial spike. But um, if it spreads or Iran is more, you know, pulled into this, that's going to change the dynamic in a big way. So it's just a little bit of a pop, which tends to happen whenever there's violence in the Middle East. Uh, but if you think about it, when it translates to gas prices, gas prices have actually come down a little bit because there's some seasonality to it. You know, the other thing was that there was talk before all of this happened, and who knows, it may have sparked some of what is happening about that there might be a deal between Saudi Arabia and Israel. And there were some reports, at least, that if that deal was reached, that maybe Saudi Arabia would boost oil production as a result. But now that it appears as if it is at least temporarily, if not forever off the table, that they won't. Will, will the Saudi production have any impact on price or, you know, if they stay flat, we're, we're OK on price? Well, I think here, if you think about what happened when Russia invaded the Ukraine, oil prices yeah. spiked about 120. And that translated in about four months later to gas prices, the average gas price being over $5. So there's a little bit of a, a lag there, but not much. And then oil prices went all the way down to about $70 a barrel in May. And then they've crept up to here in the high 80s. And so they've partly gotten that up from $70 a barrel in May by limiting the distribution. So if they come online, that's going to have prices come down. The, OPEC likes prices in and around this range because they can make a lot of money. Right. And, um, and you know, with 10, you have about 20 to 40 cents a gallon of gas that tends to fall off in the fall after the summer driving season. So we probably could absorb a little bit of an increase in price before you really feel it. But yes, if there's more disruptions or if it gets completely out of whack, uh, it'll eventually translate into where we all feel it as consumers. Okay, uh, fair enough, Doug. We always appreciate your analysis. We'll get back to you tomorrow as we continue our coverage of all this. But thanks for coming on today. Uh Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.